I think we started to talk about staging. The reason why we do staging is to give ourselves an indication of what would be the outcome for this patient. We call it pigeonholing or, or putting different tumors into categories. And in medicine, we love to categorize. And one of the reasons why you categorize melanoma is to decide how deadly that particular melanoma could be. Uh, a stage one melanoma that hasn't invaded deeply, doesn't have spread to the lymph nodes, could be a 98% chance of a cure. There's a big difference between that and telling someone who has stage 2C melanoma, meaning it's deeply embedded into the skin and it bled, you had eroded the outside of the melanoma. That person could have a 50% chance of dying in 10 years. I would say there's a pretty big difference between a 50% chance of death and a 2% chance of death. And the patients need to be aware of that. And it also determines whether or not you would give them additional treatment to prevent the return of the melanoma. So uh, staging will allow you to categorize the patients as to who's got the good outcome, who's got the bad outcome, who's in the middle, who needs treatment, who doesn't, or subsequent treatment to avoid this thing coming back. That's why we do staging. The staging of the skin melanoma, since the, the vast majority is very important, it clearly is associated with outcome, and it's routinely done around the world in the same way. Whereas the ocular melanomas tend to be a little bit different. Um, ocular melanoma has a very specific genetic change on chromosome three or the third chromosome that often is incorporated into staging, whereas genetic changes are not included in the staging of the typical skin melanoma. The mucous melanomas are more simply graded by a very old fashioned system. It's either in the location it was in, it spread to the lymph nodes or it spread distantly. Stage one, stage two, stage three. Whereas it's much more sophisticated with skin melanoma, it's four stages. So the staging of the different types of tumors could vary uh, significantly.